Hello people, Jerem Polismat here. So today I'll be showing you Rinnegatamante's Video Bubbles Creator. So this is a set of tools for the PlayStation Vita that takes a video and outputs in a VPK file you can install with Vita Shell or Molecular Shell. So first of all, all you have to do is download the files down below in the description, extract it somewhere, and as you can see, I extracted them to the same place as the place I had my video so then just open the bit to vpk.bat you'll be asked for the input file name I'm just renaming this for ease of use because I'm not completely sure if it works with spaces it probably does I don't know you try it so just type it in and it will ask you for the number of audio channels so if you notice know just enter it if you don't you can use it some tools such as Media Player Classics um, Media Info to see the information about the file, namely the number of audio channels. In my case, I have two. I just put that there. The sample rate I want to use is also 44,100. It's the default value, and the bitrate I'm going to use is 2 megabytes per second, which is around the bitrate of the original video anyway. So the bubble name is the title that shows up well as the application title in your PlayStation Vita. So just enter it and then press enter. So the title ID is something important. It has to be unique. You cannot have another application with that title ID. Also do not use lowercase letters. If you must use letters as I did make sure they're all capitalized. So next for the icon, you're going to need a 128 by 128 PNG file. I'm just going to create one with uh, paint.net. It's not going to be something I'm going to put a lot of effort into, uh, into, so it's a simple white square with hello written on it. Not the best logo, but yes. So just uh, save it into the name and press enter. Then do the same for the startup uh, image file which is the image that shows up in the middle of the page in the live area it must be these dimensions exactly so just convert it uh, just save it and that is it you'll still need one more image that is the actual page for the live area the background for the page of the live area which is 840 by 500 this time it's not going to be a white square with hello in the middle because, well, something different, please. There we go. That is all that you need to create. And just press enter and the video will start to convert. So just wait for it to finish converting the video. It uses FFM, uh, FFmpeg. Oh god, I can say FFmpeg, yes. And just wait. The, the larger the file is, the longer it will take, so just hold still. Once it finishes doing that, all you have to do is install the file through Vita Shell or Molecular Shell and open it. Now, the application, the video player, does contain some minimalistic controls, namely pause to start and stop the video, of course, and if you need to exit the app, press the start button. It will stop the video and exit the app. And that is it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more content, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!
Hello people, Gen and Polismata here. Today I'll be showing you how to install games that were dumped with my dump tool to your PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV, running Henkaku, of course. So if you didn't watch my previous video, I uh, dumped uh, Ridge Racer 